Hello and welcome to Bear Cafe. Uh, this is Boba here, the DM for our Dragons of Stormwreck Isle campaign. Um, and I have with me Barely Caffeinated, the Barely Caffeinated. Um, and I will let him introduce his character, I guess, if we if we're doing that just about every time you can do a little background so um i am barely caffeinated i am playing thyric frozen stone a dwarf barbarian um who uh was a navy soldier and got sent to this island to deal with his rage okay um what what is his favorite food favorite food Mm -hmm. um I don't know. I've never really thought about this before. <laughs> okay. No big deal. No big deal. I would say uh, his favorite food would probably be like some kind of uh, mutton with uh, maybe potatoes or something. Okay. Something very meat potato kind of guy. All right. Um. So last time, I mean, we didn't get too far but we got a, a decent amount of the campaign done so do you want to do the summary this time then i can do it next time um sure so, i did it last time we'll just take turns uh so thyric spent part of his morning um just kind of going around the island uh what piqued his curiosity was the shipwrecks that were around um so he decided to ask around uh and eventually made his way to Tarek. uh to um, take on the journey with him um, as a few people said that it was fairly dangerous um, I think he got the information from uh, Varnoth of where to go we got the boat from I forget her name the elder mm -hmm. um, and we sailed over to uh, these three boats um, Upon entering the boats, we found a captain's quarters, um, and there was a zombie in there, and assuming that it was the captain. Um, and then, uh, oh, we also searched around on the top deck uh, in the crow's nest and looked at the other two boats. Um, There's a big creature in the right-hand boat, which I, myself, am curious about. <laughs> um, but Thyric decided that it wasn't worth the effort at the time. Um, so we cleared the top part of the boat and then came down to the bottom and uh, found another zombie here. Uh, Thyric rolled a natural one and dropped his glaive in the water, uh, but was thankfully able to pick it back up and finish the combat. So here we are. <laughs> Can't get too difficult. Yeah, I really just searched the ships, didn't finish searching the ships. And fought a couple of zombies along the way <clears throat> okay um uh, so we left off in this lower deck and you can see from the map there's a lot of water um but it only comes to like right under your knees i believe uh you just killed this zombie and you did not search this level or anything yet correct correct okay, okay. so let me go ahead and just play this awesome background music i like this ship one it's it's fun um so what would you like to do from here um can i just do like a general investigation of the area um sure oh shoot um i gotta remember so i like what time it is in the day just to help you out to see um so you you said you woke up maybe at like seven. You were talking to people for a little bit. You probably got going around like eight. Is that what we said? And then, so. and then I think it was a, was it an hour and a half sail to here? Um, yeah, it was an hour, hour 40 minutes. Um, so say it was like 930. We'll say it was 930 when you got here. And then on this ship, we'll just say only like 30 minutes pass by. So it's like 10 o'clock in the morning right now. Um, crates 
So there's there's different crates and barrels around here. Are you just wanting to not search any specific one, but like how many would you like to search? Did you just want to peek into one? Like what, um, what were you wanting to do? Can I just, well, first off, can I see what the crates and barrels are? Like, is there logos on them? Is there an identification of some sort? Um, There... I would have you search, but there's there's nothing special on them. Um, I mean, they're it's kind of getting to be like soggy wood and a little broken, so some of them are kind of falling apart. But they're just basic crates and barrels. Okay, so like, so can I search inside these crates down here, like that sure. big crate? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, do you have a crowbar? Um, a lot. I do not. Then every crate you open, it's going to take about 10 minutes. Okay, so keep that in mind. That's why I ask. So you just want to open um, crates over here? Or like one of them for now? Like the one yeah, sitting on top or that. something? Yeah. Okay, we'll say that you grab the one on top because it wasn't like buried in water and it's on top. So you can start taking it apart. It takes you about 10 minutes because you got to actually <laughs> pry it open with your hands and like make sense of the the wood falling apart. Um, but you find five bottles of fine wine packed in straw plus one broken bottle. So five bottles of wine? Five bottles of some pretty nice wine. Um, and yeah, and it was just packed away for storage and straw, so it had some padding, but one of the bottles did break because, you know, it's a ship crash. So, so do I only have four, or I still have five, and then there's a broken one? It's five, and then plus one is broken. Okay. Okay. Um, and he'll kind of just hold one up. A dark. Why don't we take a sip back? Um, and he'll kind of just open up one of the bottles. Um, and he'll smell it first. Does he notice anything? Like, it's clearly still fine wine. It's not... Yeah. Aged very nicely. <laughs> All right. He'll take a sip of one. Mm -hmm. And then he'll kind of, like, just, you know, offer a sip to Tarek. <clears throat> oh... You know how to make a fast friend. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, he'll also, he'll take the the same bottle. <laughs> kind of realizes that they're pretty nice, so he'll take the same bottle and just take a swig right out. Why don't you hang on to that for your efforts today? Oh, well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Well... I suppose we shouldn't hang around here for too long. Um, can I, like, is there anywhere for me to go? Like, is this back area a thing, or...? Yeah, yeah so I just kind of left that out because um, steps are kind of in the way. But yeah, if you, if you wanted to start walking around or something... Um... Alright, um, am I supposed to be able to mm -hmm. see these dots right here? Yeah. What is it? <laughs> Those dots are the, um, um, why can't I, no, it's because of that. So the, you remember on the level above, like on the main deck, there was that, um, the great, the great. Yeah. I, I was trying to remember if that was the new route, but there was that great in the floor that you were looking through and you were trying to see, like, if you could see or hear anything, mm -hmm. um, yeah. that, that's just the outline of like. Um, where that is so like if you stand there then that's above you that grate is above you okay um, I'm trying to reveal there we go I'm trying to reveal. Oh, okay. just so you can walk around and stuff if you wanted to actually see the rest of that okay um, I guess oh, oh. hey <laughs> sorry, that's where I moved hey you moved <laughs> I just happened to move to the same spot sorry all right, can I search this crate here? 
Hey, Tarek, why don't you search around too? Maybe we could find something of value for our efforts. Fair enough, if we have time. Um, so you'll search that crate. Um, okay. And then you, so you find in your crate after 10 minutes, a spell scroll of command. Um, so you, you pull out of the crate. It's also kind of packaged like very, very neatly. Um, there's this little leather case. Um, yeah, and it's sealed very cautiously too, to uh, keep it waterproof and everything. But inside is a spell, a spell scroll. This is also what I need to think ahead of time too. Is like, would I know that it's a, a spell? I don't know. Three? See that? That's where I just kind of set it, and then I'm like, shit. You know, I could have like. If I if I don't know, then that's okay. I can switch it. Um, usually, like you know, if you wanted me to make an Arcana check or something, and you yeah. said right, like I would have just yeah. yeah. I just I'm literally just reading the directions right now, and then I I'm very like. You know how I am, so it's hard for me to read before I speak, which I gotta get used to doing. But okay, um, oh, oh, and then Tarek, um. Oh, mm. so I looked it up just because I was curious. A scroll bears the words of a single spell written in a mystical cipher. If the spell is on your class's list, you can use it as an action. Otherwise, uh, it's unintelligible, so I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know that it's a command scroll. Oh, my God. Okay. So. Um, anyway, so, well, you found that. <laughs> Tarek pulls out this big, big sack and opens, opens it up, and there's just this nice, very, um, ah, oh, what's what's the good smell? Like almost like a nutty, cinnamony smell, just kind of wafts in the air. It's like ooh, cloves. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Tyrek, this will be great for the kitchen. <laughs> Aye, that it will. I'll just go ahead and hold on to this then. It's it's quite a big bag. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to search around for while we're here? If not, um, we should be on our way. And you said it was around what time? It's around like 10.20, 10.30 now. Right, so okay. it's still in the morning. Um, Let me go ahead and add... Um, so he being over by this crate. Oh, yeah, I forgot I could do that. Thanks for that trick. The little double click of the character tree. So since he's over by this crate, he kind of sees um, this hole in the ground over here, and he's going to go and inspect it. Okay. And I want to inspect this crate. I'm assuming this is another crate here. Yes. Um, okay, how are you inspecting it? Like, can I see or hear anything below it? Well, it's, like, covered in water. Remember, you're, like, walking through, so, like, there's this grate on the floor, it's water, and then there's just water. So you're going to listen through the water? <laughs> I guess I'll just try to see if I can see anything through the water. Okay. You're just trying to look through to see like what looks like on that level. Yeah, or if I can see anything moving. All right, if you want to roll an investigation check, you can. 
That doesn't sound very promising. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, you'll be okay. You know the what? A dirty one. Not a nat one. Dirty one. Um, yeah, it's it's dark, but you know it's going to be just flooded down there. Like it's, mm. you gotta swim. You're like in the water. Um, yeah, Tarek is going to. <gasps> Where's my D twenty? Oh no! Oh, there's. Um, he's going to investigate this hole too. Oh, he rolled a seventeen. Plus, you know, I I really need to. So investigation, because I don't have like those individual things besides his proficient skills, oh. like his proficiency. Um, so investigation is that intelligence? So that's plus one. So he actually rolled an eighteen. Then that's how that works. Um. Either way, a good roll. So he. Kind of looks through there. It, it it seems like there might be a little bit more light coming into that. Like even being underwater, it um he's able to see somewhat of something because light is coming in from somewhere from this ocean. Um, so he can kind of see a little bit. Um, so oh. Thyric, I think, uh, I think I'm able to see maybe a, a chest down here. Oh, now we're talking. I wonder if, um, that's what fell from, from the captain's room. Perhaps. Yeah. Well, do you think you'll be able to see down there? might not be very possible to see <laughs> but the chest is right below so I could maybe find it like does he think that he could like he doesn't have dark vision right oh you did give him a torch Yeah, he but that's torch. not going to work underwater right um. Mm. So I I know that the level underneath this is just full of water, right? Yeah. Well, Tarek, since you cannot see in the dark, I will go downstairs by myself and investigate. You keep watch out here. Okay. Now I I know you can handle a ship, but how are you with swimming? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have trained in the Navy. All right. Well, I will be here in case you need anything. Very well. Stay somewhat dry. Maybe you can lift the chest up and I can pull it up. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> uh, and I guess he's going to go downstairs. Okay. Uh, so I will have Tarek stay by that hole on that level. Yeah. And uh, if you come to there, new map, reveal the access. God, that's so Um, I'll just reveal more. Yeah, you know what? Hell, I'll, I'll just reveal the whole, whatever. It's fine. Oh. Okay. Okay. So you come down to the hold as the cold water engulfs you. So I'm guessing you took a deep breath because it's it's water. You're, you're going underwater. A strange undersea world is revealed. Colorful seaweed grows over the shattered hull, especially around the gaping hole in the stern of the ship. Tiny fish dart among hunks of debris and cargo. So this is that giant hole. And that, that's what I was saying. I'm kind of assuming... Um, some light from outside, like in the ocean, would be peeking through, and like why you would be able to see a little bit of that side of the ship. You okay? Okay. So you're holding your breath. Gotta think quick. Um, I guess he'll swim over here and 
can he see the chest? Yeah. Does he think that he can lift the chest up to where Tarek is? Probably. Um, I right, go ahead. Give me, give me a strength. Give me a strength check. Just straight. Let's see. Straight strength. Um, I guess how how are you gonna lift this? Just give, just it, give it a big old hug and, and just throw it up. Yep. You're, not, you're not gonna like find a handle or anything nope. trying to lift it to the side. <laughs> okay. I Rick would not do that. Nope. Just just a big old hug. Um. I guess strength or athletics. I, mean, I don't. Can I do it? There's a difference. They're both. Strength. I'll let you choose then. That's then I'm gonna do it because I would say it's pretty athletic <laughs> to just. Twenty four. Oh shit! Yeah. So this is super heavy, um, but like you know from from your training, this is like well over a hundred pounds, <laughs> but like it feels like it could be. But the water is really helping you lift it because it's gonna you know it's gonna want to be lifted up a little bit um so yeah you you are able to carry it to that level um and then thyric let's have him roll um what would this be thyric Could, or Tarek? not Tarek. shit Tarek. <laughs> sorry two t names kind of the same um I, don't know. I can also have him roll athletics, I guess. I wouldn't really be like sleight of hand if he's just bowling it up. Oh, oh yeah, he he good. He's good. Roll to seventeen. Don't know what the modifier is, but he's good. So yeah, it worked out perfectly. You just you know, holding your breath, so I guess not releasing anything, but you see air bubbles just <laughs> and then uh you're lifting it up and Tarek is right there, able to just Lift it up onto this level that he's on. So. Okay. Um, I guess Thyric would go back up, um, also to like catch a breath, mm -hmm. um, and mm -hmm. investigate the chest for a second, see if there's anything inside that they should know about. Are you going like back to the stairs, or are you just climbing up through that hole? Uh, can he just go through the hole? Yeah, you can fit. Like, it's a big in. hole. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're just gonna climb back through the. Okay. So Tarek pulls, he'll pull the chest up, and then he'll also give you a helping hand. You made it up. You're good. <laughs> um. Uh, is he able to just open the chest? I would kind of assume that it's locked. Um, no, it's, it is unlocked. Oh, okay. Yeah. What's inside? Um. That's above the water now. Yeah, it's it's not underwater anymore. It's a big enough chest that it's it comes above that water line. Um, so inside, you see a small pouch um, that has a little bit of weight to it. Um, and then you find a pair of boots and an a, a packet a packet wrapped and sealed in a waxed fabric okay what's in the pouch searching through the pouch okay so you open up the pouch and then um this venomous crap no <laughs> uh, the pouch it holds you see 55 gold and three turquoise stones. Okay. Um, Tarek or Thyric will share part of it with Tarek. Um, what's half of fifty? Like, um, you can just give him like twenty-five or something. If sure. and that's half of fifty. Or you can give him a 30, like. I just give him 25. And then you said, what was the three? Three turquoise stones. Okay. 
Um, all right. Well, you are a very kind man. <laughs> well, of course. Anything for someone who is helping me. Well, I'm sure we could find some use for this money. We're always needing goods on the island, but I live pretty simply. I, this is more than what I need. <laughs> Well, I did not see anything below deck either, so perhaps we should investigate the two other ships. Okay. Well, lead the way. Um, so I guess I'll just go back up the stairs. You made note of everything in there, right? Everything you found? Yeah. You grabbed it all or are you leaving it? Grabbed it. Okay, you just gotta tell me. <laughs> I, grab I mean, I can assume, but like, you know. Okay. Um. So, at the top deck, uh, he's going to climb up the crow's nest one more time and investigate that ship to the right because you said there was a big entity on that ship. Yeah. Is it still there? Yeah. If I... Uh, well... Well, hold, hold on a minute. Hold on a, hold on a happy minute. Um, so you guys make your way to the main deck, and something something has changed. So let me figure that out for a second. <laughs> um, okay, okay, okay. okay. So yeah, you you come back up to the main deck because you're wanting to. The idea was to look at the other ships, correct? So you started making your way to the crow's nest again. You were gonna like go up there and kind of peek. Okay, so before you do that, you're actually at this post, like right at the bottom of the crow's nest, and Tarek he he sees that you're just going right for that, but he's behind you coming up the stairs. And then he kind of catches it going, oh, fire. Shh. So here's what happens. A terrifying monster perches on the top of the crow's nest, spreading its scraggly wings and screeching harshly. Its wings and legs resemble those of a mangy vulture, while its head, torso, and arms look almost human. It clutches a large bone like a club and flexes its talons. Um... So, you, oh god, I hear it here we go. This is what I haven't done in a hot minute. Um, there we go. And let's. Hmm. So we got to roll initiative. That's what I need to do. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Would you say it would have gotten to that point or no? What? Like, would I have gotten to that crow's nest, like, where I am right now, or would I be somewhere else? Um, you were about, you seemed, like, very gung-ho of about okay. to climb it. So I'm going to say you didn't really pay attention, and you just went to, like, that post. I'm, I wouldn't say that you climbed it, because Tark was following you, and he spotted it. Um, so he was just kind of warning you before you started climbing. Um... Give me a good. Oh yeah, finish. Okay. Apparently, I didn't do this. Okay. Um. So initiative, gotta remind me. So I control. Add turn. Did a pop up. Um. No. This. There we go. Did a pop up. Yes. You there. Is it there? Why is uh, a zombie here? There's a lot of things. I haven't rolled yet, so... Why? Why is this so messed up? Okay, well, I'll just add you back then. There you go. Okay. So I'll roll for the creature. <laughs> I rolled the same thing. 16. <laughs> I didn't tell what this was. Oh, shit, I have to roll for Tarek, too. 
Damn. Okay. All right. Um. So. Tarek, shit. I didn't want Tarek to go first, but I guess I kind of have to. This is where I wish I had multiple monitors so I can stop going back and forth. I'm so sorry for slow stuff. That is a okay. I feel like this music. Thank you. Do you like this music? Okay, um, I am just going to have Tarek sneak. He's going to try to, because this, uh, I'm going to say this creature hasn't seen you quite yet, because he's kind of busy just gnawing on a bone. Um, Tarek is going to sneak. Shit. How do, you, how do you roll for stealth, actually? Do you have to, like, roll against their perception? Or their passive perception or something? Um, mm. Or like, what? what is that? <laughs> I could be wrong, but I, I think it's their passive perception unless they are like specifically looking. But since you said it's gnawing on a bone, I would say that it's passive perception. Okay. Um, so stealth, is that dexterity? Yes. Yeah, okay. He's good. He's he's sneakily. So he's gonna kind of go and sneak to um ooh, where do I want him to go? I keep thinking that he is ranged. I'm so used to playing ranged players. Nah, he's he's gonna um try to sneak over closer to you, I guess. Um Yeah, sure. I'll just have him do that. And then he is going to pull his daggers out and just kind of be ready in case this creature does something. He's just going to follow your lead. Okay. Um, Thyric's just going to kind of turn to Tarek. Tarek, what the hell is that? Um, and then Thyric is going to ready an attack for if the creature comes within 10 feet of him. Um, like if it comes at you? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Did you want to do a history check or anything to see if you know it? Um, sure. Or are you just going to kind of wait? Do a history check. Okay. Three. <laughs> Nope, you you are just what the hell is this <laughs> beast that's winged human? Um, okay. okay, so you are readying yours. All right. All right so, so this creature, let me double check of what it. Does. Okay. No, I gotta. So, you are going to hear this little melody um, start coming from this. this it's it's human, human birdiness. <laughs> oh, you're gonna hear it start to sing, and I am not going to sing for that. Um, but go ahead and roll me a wisdom saving throw. Mm. Okay. Um. <laughs> One. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Um.
It wasn't a gnat one, though, if that makes it any better. I know, yeah, that that's fine. Um, I just have to read what happens now. I was really hoping you would succeed. <laughs> that's fine. Okay, uh, let me roll for Tarek then. Shoot, I don't have to. So, saving throws. I don't know how to do a saving throw for him. Um, I'm pretty sure it's just wisdom. Just normal wisdom? Well, yeah. I'll just do that. Oh, thank God. Okay, so Tarek is fine. Um, he just hears it. It just sounds like this. It doesn't sound like a beautiful melody to him. It just sounds like that screeching, like... But you are just mesmerized like even though that you're a sailor and you know you've been out in the waters and stuff it's like you're just being drawn into this <laughs> um you are now charmed so now what that means though is um you are incapacitated and you are more than five feet away from the harpy you're below it so i guess you would have to climb um but you have to move toward the harpy uh or toward the <laughs> shit toward the creature i mean i get you could assume what it was but sorry spoiled it um i really think that's it Yeah, okay. That's Okay. That's basically it. No, I'm assuming you I just do that toward it. Turn. Yeah. So every every turn you have to move toward it in the most direct route. Do I no make a what. wisdom save every turn to Until you're until you're yeah, you do. It's going to say that. So until you're within 5 feet of it. So unless it moves, you're going to try to climb this thing just to get up to it cuz it's mesmerizing. Yeah. Um Okay. Now it's Tarek's turn. Um. He. All right. What does this dude have? Oh, I guess Um, he's just going to, you know, wail in pain of this screeching, like, oh, stop that. What are you doing? Ah, Tyrick, what? do you hear this? Um, why are you doing this? Um. And I, I guess the right, yeah, he'll just yeah, he's just gonna he's gonna wait because he still doesn't know what to do with this thing because it's not. Besides that, so he's just so gonna be already. I I really don't know what else to have him to do without controlling it too much. So, Tarek. This, this thing's singing is so beautiful. I must go get the closer look. Um, and I guess I'll... Um, do I make the Go wisdom ahead. save before I move? Or do I move and I make the wisdom save? At the end of your turn. <clears throat> okay, so I guess I'll move up. How long is it going to take me to get to this creature? Um... You can get close enough, so you really only need to get within five feet of it. Um, so your one turn of trying to climb, you'd be right by it. Uh, but go ahead and roll an athletics check. 25. Okay, yeah, you're able to climb right up. You're so eager to get up to this thing, <laughs> this beast. You're just like, yes, let me gaze upon it. And then I can... <laughs> Feathers. <laughs> <laughs> And then I can make a wisdom save, too. Yes. Natural one. <laughs> yeah, you're. I can't make it worse than you are 
deadly, char- like not deadly, but you are like hella charmed by this thing. You're just so thrown by it. Okay. Um. So now here's my question. Is it doesn't say anything about because I, I really don't know how Charmed works with D&D. Like, I've seen it in our other video games and stuff. This is where I should have... I should have looked this up, but I wasn't yeah, thinking about it. Quick. Okay. <laughs> Does... Yeah, let's just look this up. Just look up D&D 5e Charmed. Oh, no. Well, no, I have I have the rules, but it doesn't really say much. It just says a char- charmed creature. So you being charmed, you can't attack the charmer or target the charmer with harmful abilities or anything. So you can't attack this. And then also the charmer has advantage on any ability check to interact socially with the creature. And that's it. I was just wondering if like if he attacked you, would that or he or she attacked you, would, the, would that, like, break the charm spell? I don't think it does. It doesn't say that anyway. That's what I was wondering. <clears throat> or, like, can he attack you since you're charmed? I think so. I mean... Just because, Just because like, in our other games, you can't attack somebody that's charmed. But that's a different type of charmed. Okay. So, this says... The charming spell ends when any of your companions do anything hurtful to the charmed one. What does that mean? The charm break when attacked. So if it attacks me, that breaks the charm. Oh. How to break charm person? So you have to damage the caster. This says you have to damage the caster to break their concentration. So, basically, Tarek would have to hurt them, and then it would end their concentration for the charm on you. But I think it can still attack you, and I don't think that breaks it. This is where I wish that there were more rules and kind of outlines for that. Is that how it should be done? Are you looking it up to? Yeah. It just says the charmed creature is unable to attack the charmer. Right. right, that's all I see. So I think we'll go with... Um, it can still attack you. And it won't break it. But if one of your teammates attack it and actually hurts it, then it will break that concentration of the charm. We'll say that. Okay? I think that's kind of what I'm reading. Um, so let me go back to this. So, um, <laughs> this creature is going to take its little meat bone that it was just gnawing on and go ahead and try to club you. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> Eleven does not hit, right? Right. Right. Okay. All right. So it misses you. That's good. All right. We'll just go on to Tarek. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> okay. Um. So with you already climbing this thing, Tarek knows that. It's Probably not going to be smart for him to try to climb it too, um, but he's just going to go into like a panic of, what? what are you going after this thing? And he's going to take one of his daggers and <laughs> try to um, throw it at this creature. I can do that, right? Um. It hits him pretty good. Wow. He rolled 13 and then plus 5. So he got, he got 18 hits. Um, So, oh, I got to roll for damage now. This is exciting. One. 
four. <gasps> Seven damage. That is max damage right there. That's a pretty good hit, Tarek. So I guess that adrenaline just really got him, and he was just panic set for you. And he smacks <laughs> you, pierces this pier uh, creature. I said seven damage, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm hmm Okay. Um, so he gets a good stab in his arm, um, and he's just gonna... It's gonna go back to, like, a, a screech for you as he's, like, uh, squealing in pain to, like, hey! You know, just to grab you. Squawk. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's your turn. And since he was hurt, we'll say that is broken. Okay. You're not charmed anymore. Oh, what the hell is that noise? Um, and he'll use his glaive to take a swing, I guess. Uh <laughs> Eight. <laughs> Jeez. You missed. <laughs> I'm rolling like shit. Yeah, the, that misses. Sadly. Um, yeah, I mean, you... It's it's kind of a little iffy being up in the nest anyway. Not much room. I, I don't even think you can fit up there with it. Um, so you're kind of just like on the end. And you're trying to take a swing like while you're holding on. You, you missed. Um, Alright, so... This thing is going to um, be a little pissed at Tarek. He's going to forget about you. You don't seem like much to a threat to him. So he's going to come down here. And uh, he or she. I don't know. Um, I think Harpy's going to a attack. female. That's what I thought. It's because it says. I thought it said somewhere that it had like a female head. So yeah, that's what I thought. Um. It's just a picture, kind of, I don't know. Anyway, so, yes, it's going to attack Tarek. It's going to try to claw him. Ooh! Uh, oh, shit. I wish, uh, how, how can I do this? How can I do this? He rolled a nat one. Sorry, I got excited. I got excited for you guys. Um. Hmm. How can I? There's not much around here that I can flavor it, I guess. Um, my god, I'm not with it today. I wish he could get stuck on something, but there's nothing here! Um, you know, I will say that she... There we go, the head of a human female, that's why I read it. Okay, well she flies down and she's trying to claw at Tarek as she's coming down. Okay. But Tarek just obviously sees that coming. He ducks out of the way and then she just um instead of hitting Tarek, she just flies right into the deck itself. Um and she's kinda going fast, we'll say that. <laughs> she takes three damage. Mm. Okay. Tarek's turn. Okay, so <laughs> this is not so exciting for you. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm playing this game myself. And then, God. Okay. Um. Yeah. So Tarek beautifully dodges, and he's going to take his other dagger, assuming his other one is stuck up in the nest with it screeching um so he's just gonna attack <gasps> he got nat 20 wow <laughs> i'm rolling really good like in your favor tonight i don't know what's with the this, this dice man that's good because i'm um, rolling like trash yeah a nat 20 so hey and Tarek can attack twice even with the same dagger because remember he has like that triple attack that's badass um so yeah he can make three dagger attacks listen the 1d four so what's the what's the nat 20 again um you can either roll the dice it. twice and then add the modifier 
or double the damage and add the modifier. Depends on how you want to do it. Double the damage of the modifier? Like double the modifier? No, double the damage and then add the modifier. So if it's like plus five or whatever, whatever the damage is, and you roll a five, that's 10 damage plus five. Oh, so you just like re-add the modifier again? No. <laughs> Okay, so wait. Let's you say he rolls because he's already gonna he's already gonna roll twice. So he rolls a three, and then he rolls a one. Sadly, so that's four, and then it's a plus three modifier. So for another nat twenty, do I just either roll the dice again and add that? Because he he already gets to roll twice without the nat twenty remember right but he has to roll for every single attack you know that right oh yeah, yeah yeah, that's right okay so we'll do the first one i said it was a four right. or was it a three it was a four okay so a listen four. you either mm -hmm. double the damage of the dice mm -hmm. okay so the four <laughs> would become an eight and right. then the modifier is what three so 11 be 11 right, right. or you roll the dice twice and then add the modifier. The only difference is you either double the dice or you roll it twice. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Whichever rule you want to go with. I think we've rolled it twice before. I think that's what I did last time. Just like roll twice. I'll, uh, since I already rolled twice, I'll just say that. So um, it was a four plus one, so five, five plus three, so eight. God, sorry for this terribleness. So eight damage, and we're just gonna move on to Thyric doing something. Oh, wait, no, I get to roll again. Shit, he had the double. So quick piercing, and then he actually, I think he still hits again. Yes, yes, he rolled eight plus five. Thirteen, thirteen hits. So he quickly pulls out his dagger, and then he goes to stab him again for five more damage. Oh, good. Okay, so this thing is looking pretty torn up right now, but it still has it still has some anger and good fight to it. So Thyric, go. Okay. <laughs> now that I'm done. One, if I climbed onto the crow's nest... Could I take out a javelin and throw it? Yeah. I could do that? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do that you're then. You're saying like enough actions? Like, yeah, because I, I would say you're still like right by the crow's nest. So that's going to be like no movement. And then... And then I would be able to see immediately down basically throw a javelin i don't know what the crow's nest looks like yeah yeah no you'd be able to see him he's over far enough okay then i will take out a javelin and throw it since i'm assuming yeah, I'm still you better holding be careful my <laughs> better be careful of what you roll <laughs> Tarek is right by this harpy and in front of this harpy or er, sorry this creature <laughs> i just know you're smart. smart you know what just, please don't say you're right now Thank God. Um, you hit. Uh, five damage. <laughs> I rolled the lowest I could possibly roll. Okay. Um, did you want to? Feel free to jump in and flavor how you go and attack this thing too. So I'm not frying my brain of. Um, I don't know. I guess. I mean, you didn't kill it. It's. I'm just saying, like, just how you right. hit it. I, I guess think. Thyric would just uh, continue pulling himself up to into the crow's nest, uh, and then he's still holding onto his glaive, but he whips out um, the his javelin in his other hand, even though the glaive is two handed. Like, I, I'm assuming you can kind of hold it one handed if you're not attacking. Um, he pulls out the javelin and just chucks it down as hard as he can at the harpy um <laughs> but i got a one for the damage so i'm assuming it would you got one for the damage i thought you said five 
It's a plus four modifier. I rolled oh. one. Oh, okay, you rolled one. But... Okay. <laughs> okay. So. All right. Uh, so it's the thing's turn again. It is pissed, and it's ready to just die, gaming everything it gives. Um, so it's going to claw Tarek again, since he's right there. And I shit you not. <laughs> like, I wish. It's so much easier for me to just roll here. But I, I'm not cheating this. Um, another nat one. So it's... God damn, I don't even know. We'll just... It... it all of fucking misses. I can't make it lose its claws or anything. It breaks a nail. I'm trying to... <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. Alright, um, and then it's gonna go try to club uh, with that bone again. Um, at Tarek. And... Actually, does it hit? It does not. It just barely misses Tarek. So this harpy is fortunate, unfortunately, struggling. Um, a lot worse than I thought it would. I thought this was going to be a harder fight. But okay. So it's, it's bloody. It's... <laughs> It's getting it. Um, Tark is gonna try to attack it with his, with his dagger because that's all he's got, and he hits. He rolled a 16. I know he hits that. Um, damage one. It oh, and then he's gonna roll again. So one plus three, so four damage. And then um, so he's he's gonna stab this beast. Um, with his dagger, and he's just gonna say, oh, what did he say? He's just gonna, like, click to him. He's gonna say, Oh! Were you! Were you the one who was boarding these ships? And then just move on. Um, how high is the crow's nest? Kind of thinking like 10 feet. It might be somewhere, but that's kind of what I was picturing. Um, let me let me see if I can find an actual... The crow's nest. Nope, just kidding. <laughs> it's a lot higher than that. Uh, yeah, it's 50 feet. Yeah, I thought it would be pretty high. Is there? Yeah, any... I don't know why I thought 10 feet would be high, and then I'm like, wait, well, you know, 10 feet's actually not very high, but... Is yeah, there so any it... way for me to get from where I am right now to where they are, like, with just my movement? Like, can I swing on something? Can I... This was the mast, right? Is that the correct term? Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. There is a rope ladder so yeah let me yeah it's up the mast so there's a rope ladder that's how you mm -hmm. climbed it i guess you didn't have to roll athletics but sure because you were charmed let's just make it fun um i mean the mast is a little sketchy itself i'll, I'll describe it you can come up to something so there's that rope ladder the mast itself is kind of it's not very stable. It kind of swings, like sways, I guess, as you were trying to climb it. Um, and then its nest at the top is just kind of basket shaped, stuffed with like wood shavings, dried grass, um, bits of bone, like different things that it's kind of collected. So that's about all there is. It's like this. Hmm. Okay. Um, I guess I'll just pull out another javelin and toss have it. Have multiple javelins? I, mean, I think I have like four. Let me check that. You're not going to try to like, you know, cut the rope and swing. <laughs> no, I'm just going to throw another javelin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm like, you can try to get creative if you want to, but I want to leave that up to you. I'm not going to tell you what to do. I mean, like, 
you think I could cut the rope, like cut a rope and then swing down? Can I like cut a rope, swing down, and I want to like try to kick it, like while I'm swinging down, kick it? And count it as like an unarmed. Yeah, yeah I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think because how how could you cut it? So I'm I'm picturing. The bottom might need to be cut is the problem. Um, like the bottom of the ladder. Because then you would just like essentially kick off of the mast and like swing around. Because you don't want to hit Tarek either. So I, I don't think you can really cut the bottom yourself. Because if you cut the top, you're just going to fall down. Okay. So you would really yeah. need like Tarek to cut the bottom for you to like let you go. So I guess you couldn't really cut it. Um, the mast, like the, and it's very risky that if you did swing, the mast might fall. <laughs> True. All right, I'm just gonna throw a jab. Okay. Twenty-six. Nat twenty. Twenty. It is a nat twenty. Oh, shit. All right, go ahead, roll your damage. This is exciting. This is good. This is good. Okay, so five plus four, so nine. I just want to hear all the damage. Nine damage. Nine damage. All right, how do you kill this beast? Okay, um, so Thyric actually like. Um, it kind of stands at the top of the crow's nest and like balances on it and then pulls out a javelin and he tosses it. it it's pretty much almost straight down at this point. Um, and as he throws it, um, the harpy looks up and sees the javelin and it just pierces straight down, uh, through its body. He just like hit right in its spinal nervous system. He just, <laughs> just twitch in the body. <laughs> All right. Uh, All right good. So, so this harpy is dead. Um, congratulations. Um, and Thyric uh, is going to get down as soon as he can. Um, and can I salvage my javelins? Yeah, you can. Oh, oh, before you come down. Oh, Thyric. Can you uh, see if you find my dagger up there? <laughs> Didn't you say it pierced into its arm? Yeah, but I said he kind of, like, he grabbed it and he pulled it out. She. Okay. She. Um, yeah, I guess I'll look around for the dagger. Okay. It, it's right there in the nest. There's not much else in the nest. He already took stuff out, so. All right. He'll grab that, uh, climb down the ladder, hand it over to Thyric. Um... He's going to let the one in its body, I guess, stay, um, and he'll grab the other one since I don't think he would want to pull it out, and I don't think it would be very easy to pull out either. Okay. Um, <clears throat> what the hell was that thing, Tarek? Hmm... <sighs> He'll take a oh he'll take a good glance over it. Um I I've definitely heard of these. Um this is a harpy. <laughs> it might be new to you seeing you got um you got charmed by by its song. They can be very terrifying, but I believe that this is what was luring men to shore. Hmm. You believe you that can't help it. that this is what brought the ships here? I think so, yes. Hmm. These are known for luring sailors out on the ocean. I'm surprised you haven't heard of this. I have not. I have heard of mermaids, but not the harpy. Mm -hmm. Um. Thyric is going to. Um, I, I would like to check on something really quick. Um, and he wants to go up, up top. Um, okay. 
That would be on the other map. Yeah. Um, can he still see to the ship on the right? Um, I gotta, I gotta look. I gotta look at that. The ship to the right. Um, you can kind of see a little bit, yeah. Can I still see a big monster? You said there was something big over there. Um, yeah, you maybe see a little bit of roll, roll perception. <laughs> 15. Yeah, you, you definitely see, um, some like bubbling in the water and maybe some, like a tentacle come up onto the boat. That's what she I just said what you're seeing. That's what you see. <laughs> um, and then I guess I'll go back down to Tarek. Well, Tarek, do you think there's anything else worth investigating around here? Um, I'm pretty sure we searched the whole thing. To my knowledge. What about the other two ships? If you think they're worth going to look at, then we can. Maybe in case there's another harpy or something else that could be a problem. But I think this harpy was the main issue. Hmm. I guess... Hmm. While we're here, I would like to see that the mission is done. Um, and I guess I'll share with Tarek. There is a beast over to the right. Did you see what it looked like? I saw a tentacle. Oof. Well... I don't know, I guess I'm still feeling okay if you wanted to go check it out. Do you think you know what that monster is? Um, I don't have much knowledge. <laughs> but it could be anything from... Squid, octopus, kraken. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I sure hope it's not the kraken. Um... Maybe it would be a baby crack. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess. These are smaller ships. <laughs> so. Right. The Nina, the Pinta, the Santa Maria. <laughs> Nina, the Pinta, the Santa Maria. <laughs> okay. Um, can we take our boat over to the right boat? Our little rowboat. Okay. Um, sure. So you are um gosh <laughs> there it is sure so you are going back to the main deck and then you did park <laughs> you did like dock your little boat right here right like you just kind of climbed up mm -hmm. that mess of an area okay yeah so how do i take your tokens over there you can copy and paste that's what i did before um, okay. Okay. And then I know I move you like that. You can't see anything, correct? Correct. Goody, goody, goody. You're going to the right ship? Yeah. Can you see yourself? You can kind no. of see yourself. Um, okay. So, you are approaching this ship without, I mean, so it is a smaller boat. Okay. Where would you like to dock your boat? Like just thinking the ship front, back, side, side. I don't know actual sides. Okay, so when I was looking at the boat from the front of that boat, I looked off the front of the ship. Mm -hmm. Did I see the side of the ship? 
How did I see the ship? The front of the compass rose was facing the um I don't know actual nautical terms, but it was facing like the left side. Okay. Don't look at my map. I guess <laughs> we would approach from that side then. Okay. Uh, I'll have you approach like there. Stop looking at my map. Okay. You can't. You can't be glancing at me. At you. Okay. Just um, I'm just going you. to reveal. There's the ship. Okay. Good, good, good. Um. All right, so your boat, your little boat, comes up to this. Um. And by the way, like your little boat, that's what these things are right here. Like these are little rowboats. That's about like the size of your boat, by the way. So it's literally taking up that amount of space. Okay. Just for size comparison. Um. Oh can I just climb on? Okay. I'll just climb on. Okay. 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 Um. So, oh shit. Did I really not do this? I could have sworn I did this. I had like everything ready to go. I just um. Myself. <laughs> It's somewhere. Here we go. Okay, so doop. as you climb aboard the ship, um, before you can even really look at the ship much, you see this very large um, tentacle octopus spory looking thing um but now i gotta go back to this okay so and i will move thyric for a second all right all right yeah so he <clears throat> you went ahead and climbed on while he kind of tied the boat down and then um then he climbed and hopped aboard right behind you and then this octopus sees you a little surprise there now it turns it turns woohoo but okay you got a five yep shoot okay I'll roll for this Funny, because he also got one. Man! Park is like... Okay, so for initiative, does he have... Like... Oh, wait, right here. I'll do that. Damn. I wanted to use my dice. What do you get? What do you get? What do you get? 14. Oh, well, I rolled a 15. That works. i use that for him. I'll do his initiative that way because I don't know how. I don't know if that's just like a straight d20 or if it has any. I don't know. Dexterity. Okay. It is dexterity. All right. So Tarek, I don't know how he happens to go first because <laughs> that makes sense. Um, I mean, if you wanted to skip his first turn saying he was tying the boat down, then you can do that. Yeah, I guess I might since you kind of just climbed on. So, yeah, he... He was still dead, because it doesn't make sense for him to just climb on, unless you were, like, shocked by this octopus. And Anyway, so he was tying the boat down, and he took his turn climbing up. I'll just have you start it. Okay. Um, I guess he would just look at this thing. Um, would he know what this is? Um... 
I mean... If you want more specifics, you can roll and uh, like a history or something. But I mean, it's pretty obvious with these tentacles. It is a type of octopus. Like it's that's all it is. Just a large octopus. Yeah. Like like you being a sailor, you being out on the ocean, you at least know that. Okay. Um, Tarek, we have an octopus here. Um, and he'll just take his glaive out and swing at it. Twenty. Dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. It hits. Ten damage. Nice. Pretty good. Okay. All right, and um, it's going to whip back at you with with its t tentacle. Twenty four. <laughs> it hits. She hit. Um. Here it is. For nine damage, nine bludgeoning damage. Sorry about that. Okay. Okay. Um, Tarek heard you get tragically hit. He heard octopus. He knows it's a big and he's gonna leap up on the leap up on the ship, just ready to go. Um, I'm gonna come to hopefully to the rescue here. Help you out. Oh. Um, eleven. Let's five, so 16, 16 hits. Um, three plus three, so six damage. Um, okay. And then he, he has both daggers, so he can actually attack multiple times. So he just jabs and he's just gonna make some calamari. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, that's fine. So he hits again. Hits again. For he rolled. Hang on. He rolled nine and then plus five, so fourteen. Fourteen hits, and then he rolled a four. Four plus three, so seven damage. Another seven damage. You know, you were kind of smart to bring Tarek. I didn't know how strong he could actually be. I didn't either. I, I didn't build him like this. This is literally just what it said. Um, yep, yep, yep. And 8 plus 5. 8 plus 5, so 13. 13 hits again! So he's just chopping up this octopus. 3 and then plus 3. So another 6 damage. Damn! Yeah, it's like coming out to you now that this guy has had um, some background of action here. Like he's he's very skilled, even though it might not have seemed like it. But he is finally coming out of retirement here. <laughs> um, yeah, so he is slicing up these tentacles, and he just you know he stab stab slice. He sliced off one of the tentacles. Very nice. All right, after his long turn, go ahead, Thyric. Alright, um, Thyric, um, just kind of looks over after being hit, uh, pretty hard, just kind of gets this, uh, you know, look of death in his eyes, um, like an unmerciful look of rage, um, and he is going to rage and, uh, just take another swing at this uh, octopus. 19. 19? Yeah. Hit. Yeah. Hit. 7. Alright. Right. <laughs> you missed our cat. Yeah, that was a nice. weird ass laugh for me. You was he was up there on that, and he was stretching up to the top, <laughs> trying to get into our attic. Oh, um, and I guess I'll just say, 
Tarek, we are having calamari tonight. Hey. <laughs> okay. Um, octopus saw that Tarek was kind of chopping the shit out of him, and he stole his tentacle, so he's going to try to whip him with another one of his tentacles. And it hits. It hits Tarek. Um, four. Three. Three for six damage. Okay. Um, so. He took a, a decent hit. It was a big. It was a big whack in the abdomen. Um, but. Is he? Okay. <laughs> um, just kind of big, oof, knock, knock the wind out of him, and now he's looking a little bruised. But okay, um, yeah, Tark is just gonna go to try to stab this beast again, and he hits. He's seventeen plus. Oh my gosh, what happened here? Character sheet shrunk. Um, so yeah, he rolled a 22. And for five damage for that one. And then he goes to stab again. 19. So 24. Beast. I'm rolling really well for him. Like, this is freaking... Like, not fair, but... For six damage! Pretty. Okay. <laughs> uh, and then he rolled... 21. <laughs> what is with... I can't... And for another... Six damage. And... This beast is down. He's dead. It's it's just completely it's torn apart. Um. Yeah, he went like all sushi chef on this shit. So, all right, <laughs> it's dead. You just kind of see something come come alive in Tarek, where <laughs> <laughs> he's a enjoying all of his he's getting back into his uh, dagger fighting. Okay. Uh, out of combat. Cool. Um, is there a, even a downstairs to this ship? Or it's just this? No, no I'm, I'm going to say it's not. It's... It, no. Okay. Mostly because I don't... Have, no, no. <laughs> Well, Tarek, I can sleep a little bit better knowing that that beast is dead. I think for today we should head home. Okay. That sounds good. Okay. I just, I want you to leave. <laughs> okay. Um. Do you want me to leave? No, I want you to lead it. Like, I... Yeah, okay. So. Alright, I will I will prep the boat then. And he'll hop down and he'll start getting ready to untie it. Need you guys back. Okay. Um, Thyric will just kind of take another glance around. Uh, and I do just like a general perception check of anything else on this boat that I think... Or anything that I see that I'm like, hey. Yeah. Um. So. Honestly, I can't tell with how this ship is laid out. Um, everything is pretty. I mean, this is a smaller ship, so not much is covered. There are a few areas covered. Um, if you go up. 
actually um because there are there are some stairs i'm gonna say there's not a lower deck but here's here's how i'm kind of picturing it so your main deck like if if the boat is kind of <laughs> i'm gonna have to show you like this there's the main deck is kind of that lower level okay but then when you climb aboard you can go up steps like small steps that kind of lead to that's where their their dining and then their their bed areas are and stuff like that so that's what those rooms are shown on the side if you lead up so the the upper decks are covered they're not just open um but that's what these places are so i and i guess i could have left them covered but um so it, you see stairs leading up and then stairs leading up to this little hallway here and this should really be um closed off but my bad. <laughs> um, okay. I guess he'll just... I guess uh, I'll, I'll hide it again. I'll hide it again. After an another glance around, he'll just kind of hop onto the boat with uh, Tarek. All right, okay. friend. Let's head back. If you happen to spot any herbs on the way, don't hesitate and we can grab some. Um, and I guess they'll start heading back for uh, Dragon's Rest. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Switch you over to there. I'm going to pop you there for a minute. <laughs> Ooh, super pixel. There we go. Okay, so you start making your way back to Dragon's Rest. Um, Tarek? Um, Thyric would definitely want to ask Tarek about his background on the boat ride back. Okay, that's what I would like to <laughs> do. So, Tarek, where yeah. did you say you came from? What did you do before coming to Dragon's Rest? So I'm... I'm not one much of history, but... You know, I'm... I more like to talk about where I am now. Um, like, like for instance, um... You know, as we're, as we're along these waters, it's... And the, the octopus that's kind of reminding me of some friends I've made around here <laughs> may not believe it, but I've actually become friends with uh, some mushroom folk. <laughs> You've become friends with mushrooms. With mushrooms, yes. If that's easy way of putting it. Um, but... You know, I would I would go visit them a little bit, and they would let me acquire these heart cap mushrooms, and I would use them to make my potions here. But out of nowhere, they they decided to um, guard up their cave, and they have a a big monster kind of similar to that one we just fought. Um, guarding them and they pushed me away and I can no longer visit them I'm, I'm a little worried of what happened hmm interesting do you think that they would let us investigate a little further I don't know I possible but I, I know that guardian is not letting anybody in Hmm. Do you know what this guardian is? I've only heard stories. Hmm. But I believe 
that it is some kind of I've heard it's some kind of octopus monster. Do you think it's a kraken? Uh, let's hope not. <laughs> so, with these mushrooms, you're able to make potions. Healing potions. Yes, I can do that. That's what I use. I, I get these heart cap mushrooms to make potions of healing. Hmm, that would be nice. After oh, yes. <laughs> after today's combat, I uh well, I took a little beating. Mm -hmm. Perhaps we should investigate there. Oh. I would very much appreciate it if we did. I it was it was nice. I miss my friends there. But I'm a little worried. I don't I don't know why they would just lock me out. That is very strange. You know, Tarek. I know you don't like to talk about your past, but it's one of the only ways you'll ever be able to move on. My commander told me that move forward. We must accept the past. Oh, I accept it, but it is not who I want to be anymore. I, I've now just, I've really grown into uh, taking, taking care, care of life now. And that's why I have my gardens and my herbs and vegetables. I suppose that is fair, but why do it in Dragon's Rest? That's a good question. I just really needed um, a fresh start, peaceful environment, you know. I'm sure you can imagine that. I've just heard great things about this area, and I've just found it to be a new home for me. Oh. Well, Tarek, well, I feel I've made a good friend here. I cannot wait to return home to my family. Oh, I'm sure you missed it. And I'm sure they miss you, too. <laughs> Anything else? I just had to make sure I was reading this one part right for him. <laughs> for him. Mm. Because I, I kept, I was trying to talk while I was reading this. That's what's also hard because I'm a terrible reader. But I'm like, am I, is this right now? Um, yeah, I guess that would be it. And do they see any herbs or anything just, on the way back? And when, when you're talking about his family, you'll just kind of see him uh, get a little somber about it and look off into the, <laughs> the distance. Like, like maybe he is a, uh, missing somebody too but what were you asking did they see any herbs or anything on the way back oh okay um yeah i guess that's it then okay you arrive back at dragon's rest oh. um okay I, I was just leaving that up to you if you wanted to do anything, but... Um, so, Tarek... Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, 
Yeah, what what were you? Um, I guess upon arriving. Um okay. Eric is just gonna go to his cell um and kinda take a seat for a second. Um and then he would pull out his journal and just kinda write down a little bit of what happened. Um about his day and things like that. Um, Are you just doing like a short rest or what you doing? Um, yeah, I guess it would be, it would be a short rest. He'd be there writing, you know, for about an hour and just kind of, um, uh, Kind of just relaxing for a second. Okay. Um, oh, gosh. i got to think about how much time has passed. So I would say by the time you got back, it's probably, um, you know, later in the afternoon. After that fight, going to the other ship, and then traveling back. It's, And then, yeah, you got back kind of later in the afternoon, and then after your short rest, we'll say it's getting close to being dinner time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I, just just to clear up time frame for you. Um, what was that? It. Hmm? What, what did you roll? My short rest day. Oh, your short rest. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, you take care of that. Um, yeah. So. Tarek will, he'll also kind of go back into his room, contemplate some things. Um, he's going to gather a few things and he's going to um, actually come visit you in your room. Knock, knock. Um, so Cyric, uh, I was thinking about those caves again. And if you are really, are you, if you are really willing to uh, go investigate them. Uh, if you could, there's something that might help. Um, they they like these food scraps <laughs> that I give them. Uh, kind of just a friendly trade. I I bring them some scraps and they give me their their friendship and they let me pick those mushrooms. It's very nice. But if if you happen to go there, um, you can give them this sack of scraps and. Hopefully they'll see it as a friendly, friendly gesture. Um, also, as a as a thank you for for uh, fixing that ship problem and going to these caves for me, if if you decide to go, um, here, here are these uh, potions of healing. I know it was rough today, and it's probably only going to get worse from here. <laughs> Hopefully not, but I I don't know. I'm telling you, I worry. I worry about those caves. Um, so he hands you over two potions of healing. Nice. Um, and he'll kind of, he'll take the scraps from Thyric. Um, but then he'll just look up and, well, friend, why don't you accompany me, accompany me on that journey to the caves? Yeah, I... I guess I could, yeah. We seem like we've been a good team so far. If you if you need a helping hand, then you know where to find me. Very well, friend. Go rest up now. You too. Okay. Now I'm leaving it up to you, man. Um I'm so I guess we'll we can end it there kind of hopefully where we can maybe pick up on for next time so we'll say you had your short rest um and then once you're once you're done it'll be getting close to dinner time so you're approaching the end of the day so i'm guessing you're going to contemplate going the next day or something Probably. um yeah all right so that's that's where we'll leave it hopefully new adventure all right. Okay. Well, we will right. catch you next time.
Yeah, thanks for joining if you have stuck out to the end. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to be a little more excited. I'm not good. That's fine. All good. All right. We'll see you next time.